I'm starting out by applying some concealer to some areas that are a little red from some previous breakouts and I'm blending that out with my beauty blender and then I will be moving on to foundation. Today I am mixing two because that will give me my perfect shade and I will be applying that with my beauty blender. This look is going to be very full coverage because you want it to look amazing not only in person but in photos and videos. So I am using my beauty blender to give me that flawless airbrushed look and I will be dragging down my neck too to make sure everything is nice and blended. I am then going to be highlighting very heavily and this will look amazing not only in person but in photos. Um, I am going to be blending that out with my beauty blender to make it look nice and seamless and airbrushed and natural in person but you will definitely be able to tell in photos too that it just looks like you're glowing from within and it just gives you a nice highlighted look where the light naturally highlights your face. I'm then going to be cream contouring just a little bit. This is not only going to add definition to the face, but it's also going to bronze up the skin a little bit. When I contour my cheekbones, I want to make sure that I push my brush upward instead of downward. Pushing it upward is going to make sure that it gives the effect that it's lifting up your cheekbones instead of dragging them down, which will give the appearance that your face is kind of sagging a little bit. And then I'm contouring my nose just a little bit and along my jawline also. I'm then going to be setting my eyes and right underneath my eyes to prepare my eyes for eyeshadow and just set that concealer to make sure it does not move. I am then going to be bronzing up my skin just a little bit more with a powder bronzer this time to set that cream contour and just add a little bit more definition and a more bronzed effect. I am then applying some blush to my cheeks and I am really focusing on blending this out to make sure everything looks nice and blended and flawless and seamless and airbrushed. I am taking that up on to my forehead just a little bit to make it look more natural and sun-kissed. I am then going to be highlighting the parts of my face that I highlighted with the concealer. I am using a very light powder to do this. This is going to set the concealer. Not only that, but it's going to brighten up these areas again, just making your face look brighter where the light naturally hits you. And then I'm sculpting out my contour just a little bit. I'm quickly filling in my eyebrows. I sped through this because you can fill in your eyebrows however you normally do. I'm then going to be starting with the eyeshadow. I am starting out by taking a transition shade, which is a very light brown shade to prepare us for the rest of the eyeshadow. I'm taking a business card and a darker brown eyeshadow and starting out by applying that on the outer corner of my eye and then blending it inwards throughout my crease. And using a business card or a sharp edge will just give you a nice sharp wing effect and it will just look nice and sculpted and lift the eyes upward. I am then going to be putting a light champagne color on my lid and I'm patting it on my lid and as I go up towards the crease I'm really going to be sculpting that out to make sure it does not get in the crease and it stays on my eyelid. Again taking that same business card I'm taking a dark brown shadow and applying that on the outer V of my eye and then I'm taking a big fluffy brush and blending that throughout my crease and just making sure everything is nice and blended. I am making sure the it's the harshest on the outer corner. I am then taking a pencil brush and a black eyeshadow and lining my lower lash line. I'm stopping halfway in to make sure it keeps my eye open instead of closing it and then I'm blending that out. Again, making sure not to go all the way to the inner corner or else it will kind of close the eye. 
Now I'm then highlighting the inner part of my eye to again open it up and make it a little bit brighter. Highlighting my brow bone again to brighten everything up. And I am going to be lining my waterline which this will help make your lashes look a little bit fuller and give your eye just a little bit of definition. I am lining my upper lash line using a liquid liner to prepare me for fake eyelashes. I'm applying some mascara again just to prepare me for the fake eyelashes. After that I applied fake eyelashes. I just did one on camera because it was very hard to do the other. And then I'm going to be highlighting my face starting in my cheekbones and just highlighting everywhere that you would normally highlight. I am then going to go for a light pink lip. So that is what I'm doing here and then I will be finishing it off with a very nude glossy lip gloss in the center of my lips to give them a bigger appearance and setting my face. I